The president of the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service Social and Welfare Association, Gideon Dixon, says he cannot and will not allow police officers to be placed in a disadvantaged position with respect to the judiciary's no firearm policy in the courts. You have seen in recent times that these criminals are not stopping by the church and waiting for you to come out. They are going inside. They are going into the hospital. They are going into the schools. They are going wherever they feel they need to go. The message being conveyed by the judiciary is inconsistent with what is taking place in society now. And you are saying that you want the police to put down their guns and come to court. When it is there, the criminals are assembling. What are you saying? If something erupts there, the police should do what? Do it how? Do it when? Do it where? The policy was first implemented in 2016 and remains in force today. We are calling on those in authority to sit down around our own table. Let us brainstorm the best way forward. But we are not going to sit back and let anyone, whether it is the judiciary or not, create any policy which will want to try to usurp what the law says. The law says that we could be there in our official capacity and that is the only reason why we are there. Dixon is advising police officers that if they attempt to attend court and are being told that they cannot do so with their firearm, to return to their stations forthwith. If our officers face it in any court in China today, they will contact the association with a level of alacrity. Also, for our officers to make the relevant notes in their pocket diary or desk diary, go to the station and take off accordingly, make a note of all who they would have engaged, let it be known at the court, wherever it is, that they were present for the matter and no fault of theirs. They weren't able to give further contribution in whatever matter. It is no fault of our officers. Renessa Cutting, TV6 News.